Now, here is another reason why many people do not have coaches and why many people do not have mentors. In the past video, if you have already watched it, I was saying people do not have coaches and mentors because of arrogance and ignorance. And today I'm giving you the third reason I believe people do not have coaches and they do not have mentors. You know what that is? Judgmental mentality, judgmental attitude. Look, you want to be mentored in business, for example, or you want to be coached in business. You are not going to find a perfect person. That person who will be coaching you or mentoring you in business will not be perfect. Maybe you don't like smoking. Cool, nobody will judge you. The person you choose to be your mentor might be a smoker. As long as they don't smoke in your presence. Stop judging them. You are looking for somebody perfect. You won't find them. Some of the people that are going to help you to move from one level to the other, they have one weakness or another. Maybe they talk too fast. Maybe they do other things that annoy you. But as long as they can help you to achieve your goals, ignore their weakness. I know it's a very difficult one for most people to understand. For instance, I used to have a problem. There is a guy I wanted to follow. I wanted to learn from him. But here he is. I believe in marriage. And I believe once you are married, you must be married for good. And this guy has a record of having divorced. So I was thinking now, if he mentors me in business, won't I end up, you know, also divorcing because he divorced? That's, you know, lack of maturity in my mind. This guy is a wizard in business. He understands business. Let him mentor me in business and I forget about his marital, marital life. You are too judgmental. That's why you will not get a coach. Maybe you are not arrogant. Maybe you are not ignorant. You know the importance of having a coach. You know the importance of having a mentor. But your problem is you judge people. You wanted to be mentored by this one in terms of income earning. Maybe in terms of income generation. Maybe in terms of uh, your finances. Maybe in terms of your health and things like that. I have seen some coaches who are very good at coaching people to become healthy. But they themselves, their body is unbelievable. They have not been able to do what they teach others. So if you are going to judge them and say, oh, how can this one coach me to become successful in terms of my health? They, they will be helping me to have a nice body, but their body is not nice. You are being too judgmental. Give them a chance to help you. They failed to do it for themselves. It doesn't mean they don't know how to help you to achieve your goals. So if you want to succeed in life, you want to succeed in business, you want to succeed in anything in your life, you need to make sure you get coaches, you get mentors, and stop judging them. Everybody will have their mistakes. Even when it comes to spiritual coaching or spiritual mentorship, some people no longer go to church. They are disappointed because their pastor once said something bad. Their pastor once did something wrong. Or maybe you heard that at, at one time your pastor was in prison. And you're like, oh, how can I have a pastor who was once in prison? Where will you get a perfect pastor? Where will you get a perfect spiritual mentor? Where will, will, will you get a perfect business mentor? Nobody is perfect. Everybody is trying to make things happen. Stop stopping yourself from moving to the next level because you are judging everybody. You are the only one who is holy. You are the only one who is perfect. You are the only one who can do everything perfectly. You have never made mistakes. That's why you are looking for perfect mentors and perfect coaches. Ignore their weaknesses and learn what you want to learn. Thank you. Wilbert Mutoko signing out. I love you. Remember to subscribe to my channel, Dr. Wilbert Mutoko.